yes good good viber how are you welcome to another video of vibe school shot by yours truly esther joy coming at you with episode one two three four five of vibe school okay we're already on the fifth frequency and today my good viber friend we are going to be talking about the frequency of fear wow i'm so excited to be talking to you about this frequency because let me tell you there's a lot of hype about it and it is definitely interesting frequency to talk about I highly suggest that you check out the past videos in Vibe School where we talk about the vibrational frequencies that are lower. Um, but today, let's just top into it. Let's just begin and talk about our vibration of fear. So I put a fear right above our vibration of grief. And the number that it's resonating around, the frequency, is around 100. This is still a contracting vibration. It's still on the warmer, the lower scale. Um, so the energies usually are being drawn together. There's a pulling. Um, so with fear, we're, I'm just gonna start off by seeing how it's kind of in between sacral chakra. Eh, technically, it could be a little bit higher and mix a bit more with the yellow. Fear has a lot to do with our sac uh, our sacral chakra and our solar plexus chakra. So fear can, for this one, we're going to be looking at our sacral and our solar plexus chakra. Now, fear uses the creative powers of the sacral chakra located around your sexual organs. And the power of your solar plexus chakra, which is all about your personal worth and creating into the physical reality. And you see with fear, we have both of these things, but fear, this, uh, this frequency is generally used for control purposes. Now, um, yes, fear is used for control purposes. That is a part of its vibrational frequency purpose. Um, if you were not fearful of getting your skin burned off, when you jump into a pit of lava, you might not, you know, be as fortunate um, to caution yourself away from jumping in that lava or something like that. So that is where fear comes in and it's really handy, right? It's handy to keep you safe. Now, fear creates it creates purposeful constraints that's what we'll call them purposeful constraints now as I was talking I'm tracking back to the two chakras that fear um, mostly resides in our sacral and our solar plexus chakra now with the sacral chakra being all about creativity and being, being able to intimately connect with one another in that raw um, and emotional state. And our solar plexus chakra being all about our personal power, why, what causes us to act, what physical actions do we stand by that reflect our self-worth. When we are fearful, when we have this vibration of fear, when we're, when we're chilling over here, what's happening to our sacral and solar plexus chakra is that you are scared of creating something, you are scared of being something because you either have this idea, your own self-worth is distorted, so you could be fearful, um, let's say, of swimming because you're scared of drowning, doesn't even matter if you can stand in the water, if someone is legitimately scared of drowning, then trust me, I have seen it. It does not matter. You personally have this idea, this self-worth that you can't swim or that the water is going to hurt you. So because you set that up, because you physically are going to react that way, because that's your intimate connection with that thing, that is a constraint that you're making. Fear is 
a created constraint to stop you from doing something. Um, fear can also be used as a creative constraint to control what you do. Um, and it has, as you look back in history, it has been used for the most part successfully many times throughout history if I wanted to look at uh, Hitler or Stalin, uh, how they used fear to really control a whole population um, to inspire them to create something and act on these connections that they made for them. Um, it, for me, I see fear as a great, great place to get inspiration from. A great place to draw forth more inner power. A great place to create more solutions for those who are scared or fearful for certain reasons. Okay, so good fiber. We talked a little bit about fear and how it is used mostly as a control mechanism to direct someone's creation force and to create a picture of their own self-image. When you are fearful, got fear. cut out there, but as I was saying, when you are fearful and in that uh, fear-based vibration, things happen very quickly and chaotically because I want you to think of creation force being this water and fire force of the solar plexus being that that fire that usually should help help fuel you. In this case, it just creates a hectic I'm gonna bring the lava back, but literally it's like chaotic lava almost. Don't touch the floor, it's lava, except the fear is just dripping everywhere. Um, for someone who's residing, residing in a fearful vibration, they, <laughs> someone who's residing in a fearful vibration may just feel very shut down, um, extremely, extremely loss of options or um, there's no options, there's no variety, um, right? There's no spice in life. When someone's scared, there's no million and one options. There's just this and it's horrifying. The thing with fear is that, well, good vibe, we have all of these emotions. And we know that fear can be used on one side to control others. On the other side, fear can be used to help control the situation. It can be used to create new solutions. I think that, for the most part, if someone finds themselves to be overly fearful, whether it be of making intimate connections or just being fearful of really showing people their self-worth, then maybe we, good viber, should really reflect on where we have been controlling others with fear. And by seeing that reflection, by seeing that bit of us, that is the other side of the, the spectrum, it allows us to transmute our own fear and our own tendencies and to rise up the vibrational chart. So yes, good viber, if you find yourself to be someone whose vibrational palette resides with fear, whether you like to scare people or you yourself um, find that you um, like to be scared or like that fearful element, then I want you to know, good viber, that that is all beautiful and all vibrations are created equally because they're created with the same stuff, just a different variation. Um, so that's wonderful. I want you to know that if you are someone who is generally 
very fearful, then don't be scared. You're probably just scared of how much that you can actually accomplish in your true potential. And that is, Good Viber, quite frankly, something to be silly to be scared about, but we all have our silly little fears, don't we? And I'm here to tell you that your potential is infinite and it is beyond valuable. So just keep yourself in the mindset of knowing that these vibrations, these frequencies, fear is working for you. And anything that introduces fear, you will know because it will try to constrict you to thinking that you can only do things one way or that you are invalid and unable to do something due to how you are currently situated. This is usually just a lack of creativity. I'm not saying always, but you fearful, good vibers out there who need this message, know that you have powerful, massive potential to solve and to conquer your fears and to help others. So without further ado, Good Viber, if you liked that video, then press thumbs up so I know so and can continue to make more videos like this one. Of course, Good Vibe fam, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, then hit the subscribe button and post bell notification down below right now to stay updated. I post daily and I would love for you to join the family. Of course, fam, if you have anything you'd like to add about our frequency of fear, then please leave it in the comments down below. I really do love connecting to you that way. And of course, you not only help me, but you help the whole Good Vibe fam as well. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.